Welcome back, everybody. If you want to play good, you got to look good. Uh, that's the rule. So we're going to talk about sports uniforms here. Uh, there's been a lot of them throughout history. Some have been great. Some are timeless. Some are new and fresh. And then you got everything in between. Some were, were a little bit horrible. Some of them still are. So Alex, take us away with our uniform segment. Yeah, thanks, Tyler. Uh, so I did this kind of in honor of the NHL releasing these retro jerseys for this upcoming season. Um, I was going to talk to Traden first because he's our NHL guy, but he just yelled at us uh, when we were off air, and now I kind of don't want to. Uh, <laughs> <Fair> no, <enough>. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, so what I asked the boys to do is pick uh, their a current jersey that they really like, a current jersey that they don't like, and then you know talk about some other retro jerseys that they maybe dislike or also you know want to bring back into the fold. The one rule I had, I hope they follow this, is that they weren't allowed to pick their favorite team so damn it james were you not I'm kidding, kidding i'm, I'm you, kidding okay. bro i'm just Dude, reading, <laughs> reading is hard so like i get it <laughs> uh, so trading because this is in honor of the nhl uh please don't yell at us but why don't you start and tell me tell us what you got well the best jersey it's it, it's tough but yeah. I, I think the most classic best jersey would have to be the Chicago Blackhawks. No, they're, they're ready. <laughs> that. No, the, as much as I hate them, um, the logo is awesome. It's timeless. It, they haven't changed much because they don't need to change much. Um, you know, they're original six team, and they haven't. You know, it, and it and they've had the same jerseys ever since. And 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 mo you ask anybody, you or you put out a poll. You know, for most NHL fans, they're going to say the Chicago Blackhawks are one are one of the best jerseys in the league. The worst jersey in the league, by far, is the current Anaheim Ducks jersey. It is absolutely atrocious. It is terrible, terrible yes. colors, terrible logo. They they need to completely redesign everything. Um, and that is that, that they need to happen. That needs to happen like yesterday. Okay. okay. Can I chime in on on a, an NHL jersey? Yeah, please do, Eric. Uh, the Blackhawks. Uh, they kind of their logos like similar to the old Redskins. So what if they called them the Chicago Hockey Team, Traden? And also the uh, retro Coyotes jersey. Yes, the Kachinas are. Oh, those are primo. fire! Right those there. are fire. They're so those are fire. they're those so fire. fire. Actually, yeah, let me. One. I'll say this. Yeah, me too. My favorite jerseys of all time are is the '90s and early two um, thousands jerseys from the Ducks, the Coyotes, and the Sabers. Um, those particular jerseys are just i wish they bring them back they need to bring them back um ducks fans i know i i like your new retro jersey everyone else hates them well nope, they're me. they are they um, are the worst retro this, this jersey. The worst. i do wish yeah the I think sharks cool though the, really bad. the sharks one's so clean the sharks, the sharks, sharks no, retro jersey. i actually so kind of clean. like the shark i hate the shark oh dude, it's, like the 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 it's the no, best no, of them all it's the best oh no so it's the worst. Worst. settle settle down oh, there child no, it's not <laughs> name a better one <laughs> The all the other all of them the, over the sharks. The best one is the whalers one. Okay, which okay. Like that one? Yeah, Go on. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I like the sabers one. I'll too. give you that. I'll give you that one though. Okay, wow, this got way more heated than I was intending <laughs> it to get, and I'm kind of digging it. Um, <laughs> something I do wish before I before mm -hmm. I end. The, something I yeah. do wish the Pittsburgh Penguins would do is bring back their blue jerseys. They ha um they okay. had their original jerseys that had the they they were that um light blue. Um, they brought them back for the fir very first Winter Classic, um, and I think they need to bring that back. I don't really like the the yellow and black. They need I love the blue, though. It's so nice. Okay. We were talking before – you were trading was a little late, everyone, just so you know. <laughs> we were talking about how we do like how Pittsburgh, all their sports teams are black and yellow, so we might have to kind of stick with that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to disagree with you on that one. Fair enough. Um, we're going to go in a totally other direction real quick here. And in honor of the Masters, uh, and because there's five of us and there's four major sports, I'm going to Eric because he's our golf guy. We're going to talk I – don't, I don't know how you want to do this, Eric. I'm going to let you kind of run it. But I was, I was thinking like best or worst style yeah, on the, that's what on I was the PGA Tour. Um, but take it away. Let me hear what you got. Did, did you see uh, those – the thing I sent you guys on Instagram? It was like – uh, concept like jersey for golf yeah. it looked yeah. terrible it well, looked yeah, like that soccer looked, that was really bad yeah <laughs> Stupid. never it looked really bad but i just i wanted to bring it up but yeah i'm glad we all agree uh the best uniforms in my opinion that i saw 
biased uh, Puma. I like the Puma golf stuff, uh, specifically Ricky Fowler, of course. Um, he also has that Sunday orange outfit. Uh, you didn't really see him play on Sunday because he did that, but he made the cut. Um, they got a bunch of new crazy designs. They're kind of just getting weird with it, but I like it. Some floral looking polos, pineapples, um, different colors like light green, pink, sky blue. Their pants, I got to say, are phenomenal. I've had a pair for like the last five years and use them as like work pants and like going out. You can kind of get away with it. Super comfortable. You could run a beer mile in them if you wanted. Um, they got some nice uh, golf shoes as well. They're coming out with like these retro looking ones. They already have actually. They look nice because, you know, we had to talk retro here. Um, the only th the knock on Puma is that DeChambeau hat that he wears. It's like that painter's hat, whatever the fuck it's called. It's like a Peaky beret, Blinders dude. hat. Yeah. What's it called? A beret. That's uh, not a beret. No. It's not a beret. Not, who the fuck? Tell what's wrong with you, man. I don't know. It's not a beret. <laughs> a a Peaky well, Blinders hat. That's a great way yeah. to describe it. Wow. It's the Peaky well, Blinders shit. hat. Like and a, that's like a great show. Cap or something. Oh. Yeah, it's a yeah, great it's not a baseball show, but the hat I don't know that Dishambo wears not great. Um, the worst <laughs> golf uniform to me would be Bubba Watson. Uh, he wears, if you don't know, look it up. He's got this terrible ping visor that he wears all the time. <laughs> it's horrible. But he's sponsored by Oakley. Um, Oakley has some good shit, but uh, yeah, the, the ping visor, he's got to get rid of it. And this dude, Dylan Fratelli, um, who was doing well in the Masters, he's all Oakley. And his outfit was slightly questionable, I must say, also. Eric, the big debate right now for the past month has been hoodies on the golf course. What is your take? Mm. <laughs> I would love it. Hoodies I do too. Okay, I'm not alone then. <laughs> I'm not alone. No, hoodies I are think like that's the great. most comfortable thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I, it can be a nice hoodie. It doesn't need to be like, oh, LA, you know, Lakers hoodie. Like, fuck that. Like, I don't <laughs> want any like crazy well, designs, but a clean, well, a clean <laughs> hoodie, dude. I, I don't know. Some people are, you know, some crazy people are like, we need to maintain the integrity of the game, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no. Nah, Hoodies are the way to go. You I'm know sorry. what Rory, Rory was wearing in yeah. one of the random tournaments? I think the Thousand Oaks tournament, Tyler. It yep. was the three button hoodie. So it's like a mixture of like Henley looking hoodie, but it, it was great. They need to bring that in. Get it. Glad in you agree. Yeah. Okay. I, again, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on the podcast. I don't give a fuck about golf, <laughs> but that is one of the problems with golf. Just like one of the problems with baseball is they're too stuck in their traditions and trade. And I think you can agree with me on this. I'm 100% down for people to wear whatever the fuck they want on the golf course. Yeah. Go for it. I you think they need Just to like also allow shorts. Yeah, just like Tyler said, you you know, you look good, you play good. So sombreros. Yeah, some dude, some do whatever you want. You <laughs> yeah, know, shirt off. Great. You know, sun's out, guns out. Do what you got to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, let's go. So let's go to James next. So football. Uh, so you couldn't pick the Niners. I hope you listened. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So I took it a little bit different. Okay. I did best and worst current, and then best and worst retros. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's start with the best. So right now, I think the Atlanta Falcons have the best jerseys. Wow. They came out with this new set as of this last year. And it's like the all blacks they have. It's super clean and super sleek. It's like simple, modern, and very minimalistic. And it's easy to match color combos when it's black, white, and red. So the way they're running it right now is really good. I also like the Vikings jerseys mainly because I love the color purple. That's my favorite color. And so I like how it's like they have a cooler purple, purple and gold combo. So it kind of reminds me of the Lakers. So that's always nice. The worst jerseys, I think, is hands down the Browns. Why? Why is the helmet orange? Can somebody tell? They call the Browns. They have an orange helmet. It, it makes zero sense to me. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And <laughs> I was talking to Tyler. I was like, "Why the fuck, dude? Why? Why is it orange?" And he couldn't tell me. So I guess nobody knows. An answer. What makes the color brown? <laughs> is it yellow and orange? Yeah, all the colors together. All the colors mixed together. Oh, I thought that was just a big poop. You know. <laughs> poop. Yep. <laughs> anyway it's just like their jerseys it's just the color their name and their number and has nothing else there's zero, zero substance it it matches their team because their team is a piece of shit and so what was their jerseys <laughs> <laughs> what is a brown dude it's hurt dude it's literally a turd why do you think, why do you think the phrase is i'm taking Baker the brown Mayfield. to the super bowl point like when you're taking a shit yeah, <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. It's the only time they ever see the Super Bowl. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. shit! <laughs> uh, the only, other team, other jerseys I don't like at all are the Jags. Because teal, why teal is a weird color to mix with a jersey, hmm. um, mainly because it's it's white and black and teal. Can you mix that? That's a ah. that okay. So those really dark <laughs> black and some light teal doesn't really work, man. Oh, okay, okay. I like interesting. <laughs> I, I disagree I with that, but interesting. I kind of like the Jags uniforms. Yeah, I do lot. too. I don't like I don't like that helmet one. they had that that helmet they had that was like black in the front and like gold in the back. Yeah. That was oh, dumb. Yeah, that was gross. That was dumb, but I like their jerseys this year. That's fair. You okay. know, teach their own. Yeah. Okay, James. <laughs> so these released retro ones. I, I okay, think you're, I think you're very retro. strongly strong. You feel really strong about one of these. Oh yeah, the Steelers. Okay. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Those bumblebee looking prisoner scheme looking pieces of shit. It's like black. <laughs> it's black and yellow. And it has stripes, and it's, it has big white squares in the middle of it where the numbers are supposed to be. It's a rugby it's shirt. Rugby, man. <laughs> We're playing football, <laughs> not rugby. <laughs> rugby didn't rugby come first though? So it's like an homage. British shit out of here. Soccer. We won the war. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the episode, everybody. We won the war. <laughs> Fucking man. Oh lord. <laughs> Uh, other retro jerseys I don't really like are the Packers. It's like this old school Calabares color scheme. Um, and it's basically just one solid color with a circle and it has your number inside the circle. Mm. But the best retro jerseys are the Dolphins. I think this is the best jersey, football jersey of all time. It's a classic color scheme. It's simple, elegant. It's from the 1970s. It also had the blue face mask along with the helmet. It's classic look overall. It's iconic if you think of football before 2000s that's what you think of and also the rams the rams old school jerseys the dark blue with the yellow easily top five uh it, the dark blue complement the gold perfectly and so those are my jersey choices okay question for the dolphins one is that not also teal it is blue that's teal <laughs> which is <laughs> teal <laughs> black. it's blue quoise there, there is no black oh fair enough oh you fair don't like okay. teal and black so the teal and the teal black and the issue. Issue. Okay, that's so it's weird. not just the color. Got deal. it. Got it. You know what the worst uh, jersey is? Is the Seahawks the neon green? Oh, no, dude, like, the Seahawks the white have such pants. clean jerseys, man. Yeah, I actually don't like that. Okay, well, if it's the like, color rush, if it's yeah. color rush, that's sick. But if it's the neon with the white, that doesn't work. Oh, okay. yeah, the color rush is like kind of a whole other thing. I feel like that's a whole separate podcast we could talk <laughs> yeah. about the color it rush, is. And, yeah. like uniforms. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Tyler, baseball can't pick the Dodgers. Let's hear it. Yeah, that was a bummer because that is my favorite uniform. Um, well, that's why I but, fucking made these. Yeah, rules. so I didn't. I make the Dodgers. <laughs> no, it's a classic. Um, so my favorite, and it's gonna be obvious what my favorite color is. My favorite current uniforms in baseball right now are the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, I think they just have a really clean, great look. They brought back that classic Blue Jay logo with kind of a modern, more twist to their uniforms. Uh, the uh, powder blue Blue Jay uniforms, I think, look great. Which is good because for a while there, the, the Blue Jays had this kind of really weird, like cartoonish uh, uniform, and it just didn't really work very well. They had a lot of black, and it was just re- really weird. So they went back to their classic, you know, just blue and white, and it looks really, really good. So I, I, I love the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, a couple honorable mentions I want to throw in there uh, St. Louis Cardinals, classic, timeless jersey. Uh, Oakland A's, I think just a, a, um, always a clean look. Uh, Yankees, again, just classic. And then the Chicago Cubs. I think those are my favorite uh, jerseys overall. Uh, the worst to me uh, is the Miami Marlins, uh, which is saying a lot because before they changed it this year to the black and the neon blue and uh, red, uh, those jerseys were awful. They were just these weird orange and teal and like every kind of color from the rainbow just put into a, to a jersey and it looked horrible. Uh, they did a little bit better, but it's still the worst in baseball. Uh, mainly because their logo is black and their hat is black, so you can't see the fucking logo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> kind of st- if you can't see the logo, what's the point of having a logo? Yeah, that's kind of stupid. And it's kind of crazy because it's like a neon blue, neon red, and it doesn't pop, which is like, what, what's the point of it if it doesn't pop? Um, so I think the Miami Marlins still have a long way to go to figure out their uh, uniforms. Um, a couple honorable mentions for worst ones, uh, Cleveland Indians – um, they're going through a weird thing, you know, with the Indians and in the in that kind of uh, 
logo they had is kind of a little controversial. So now they just have these like really random just block letters and it just looks horrible. Uh, the Texas Rangers, I think they're just, they're too much blue and too much red at the same time. And it just, it's like pick one, have a primary and a secondary. It just looks really weird to me. Uh, Houston Astros, cause fuck them. And then the Arizona Diamondbacks uh, uniforms, I think are just all over the place and they're just dumb. Which Those are fire. Tyler, yeah. would you, Eric? now, <laughs> at risk of getting hit through the screen, Tyler. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I remember if you said this as an honorable mention for a good one, but is it just me or are the Yankees like a classic for baseball I, look? I did, I did throw the Yankees in there as an honorable mention, and yes, I agree. that. Okay. The, Sorry. I, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't remember that. Yeah, but they are good. classic. But yes, the, the Yankees pinstripes is classic. I mean, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful jersey. Um, so yeah. my throwback that I want to bring back yeah, is yeah. Arizona Diamondbacks, the purple and uh, teal uniforms. That's um, what I meant. Yeah, those, yeah. those, those were there black in there, though? There is black in it. Oh, so, James but hates them. James but hates them. But it's, it's not, not like the color. It's, <laughs> yeah. like the, it's, it's mostly, <laughs> mostly, like a, it's mostly purple with some teal in it a little bit. And it just it looks great. And they had a, I don't know why they ever changed it. Now there, there's just boring red with like this weird neon blue in it, and it's just really weird. Um, they they won their World Series in those purple and teal uniforms. Why I don't know why they ever changed it. They they need to bring those back. Um, so yeah, that, that that's what I got for baseball. Okay, um, I the Kelly green, which is like the light green Oakland A's uniforms that they came out with the last couple of years fire yeah so legit um the from the existence of the san diego padres <laughs> to now they have never had a good jersey not one time in their existence they're all terrible i actually so, kind of like gonna, their ones i kind of like their new ones too <laughs> well i just i think they're all terrible the they're brown just ones like, they're just brown, brown and those brown gross brown. dude no they're terrible okay, I'm i sorry. first at first i didn't like them i thought they were horrible but the more I see them on Ooh. the field, actually, I'm kind of growing into it, and I think yeah, I, I like, like them. them. I like no, them. I, the more I see them, I'm like, dude, you, <laughs> you're in San Diego. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. You can't come up with a better design than this. It's, it's that hard is to make brown look good. It really exactly is. why you shouldn't do it. We just talked about how the browns. <laughs> but I think, but I think, but I think currently, like the way the pods are doing it, they have the brown, but I think they really emphasize the the gold in it. Yeah, I feel like I see a lot of the gold pop more than the brown, so mm. I feel like it works okay. Obviously, it's like it's brown, so you can't you can only make brown look so good. Um, but I but I, I think yeah. I think I think of all the Padres uniforms that they've had. These yeah, are, they're pretty bad. Well, okay. All it takes is piss yellow. Yeah, so yeah. like they're not UPS drivers out there; they're professional That's, baseball yeah. players. So <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm out. I'm out on the Padres uniforms. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go real quick through my basketball ones and you guys feel free to chime in. Uh, the best uniform I think is, this might be a kind of a shock, the Port Portland trailblazers, the blazers across the front, the font is legit. The red and black stripe going down from nipple to dick, you know, perfect <laughs> little, perfect little, little stripe right there. I think the blazers, they've stayed that way for a long time. I think they're really classic. The differences between home and road are not super crazy uh i think their their jerseys are legit the worst jerseys sacramento kings yeah back in the day mm -hmm. in the chris weber mike bibby Peja stoyakovich days they had those sick black jerseys with the big kings kind of uh like almost like royal riding on it and all the fans would show up in black uh it's out there in arco arena those were legit the, these new ones, I they they're close. They needed something else. They're literally just like white jerseys with the purple kings across the front. You know, uh, unfortunately, the Sacramento Kings have been the joke of the NBA for like forever, and they needed something. They need something different. I'm just not a fan of it. They do also have some baby blue ones. I know Tyler, you're just saying how you're kind of a fan of some of those baby blue. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of those. Uh, I went to a game last year when they were wearing those, and I was like, are we at like a, you know, like a 10-year-old basketball game? Like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, this is a professional <laughs> NBA team. Um, and hands down, the retro jersey the NBA needs to bring back is the Vince Carter Toronto Raptors with the full dinosaur on the front. <laughs> those are legit. Yeah, I don't – the Raptors jerseys now are, like, actually not that bad. But, like, dude, you, you're the Raptors and you had a sick-ass dinosaur on the front? What do you do? Purple dinosaur, a little red back there. 
fire. Yeah. Those, those, those Raptors jerseys need to come back. Do uh, you guys got anything on basketball jerseys? Yes. Um, the best jerseys in the, 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 yeah, the best jerseys <laughs> in the basketball of all time is Toon Squad. Done. Okay. <laughs> Done. What do you think? What do you think, Traden, about the I don't know if it's official, but like the, the new one? LeBron ones we've seen. You want me to start ranting? Because it's fucking awful. Okay, it's the worst I, thing I I've ever asked. seen. We, we're is. not even sure if that's like a real – I don't know if that's like a for real thing yet, but I'm curious. Well, well after I saw different. the jersey, I, yeah. I wanted to rip my eyeballs out. It okay. was, it's, wor- it's the worst okay. thing I've ever seen. What they're is not, it? They're like half orange and half blue, like teal, light blue colored, I think. It enrages me. Okay. I do have, for you, so you guys know, a Bugs Bunny Toon Squad onesie. Probably one of the best purchases I've ever made in my entire life. Oh my god! Um, may have to run the beer mile. Might now. have to oh, if yeah. I. Yeah, I might have to. Uh, the uh, worst. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if it's a retro, but the you know those jazz jerseys that are like brown, orange, yellow, fucking variants combined into one. Do you know what yeah. I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Those are the worst. Those are. Terrible. It's like the Cleveland yeah. Browns mixed with the Bumblebee Steelers <laughs> mixed with. The Diamondbacks' newest jerseys. Yeah. All together. <laughs> I, think, I think what we've decided here is brown is not a color you should be using no. on your uniform. I yeah. think that's what it comes down to. And so don't be we, called the Browns. Yeah, and don't be called the Browns or you're just, they're just shit jokes. are just yeah. going to you know, start what plopping. Brown do don't have you? the same color as shit. That's a pretty easy rule to follow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, let us know if you guys have any other ideas uh, of bad ones. We Bye, Trayden. Bye, Trayden. He just got so rattled. He just got himself out. Uh, but, but I'm done with my – I'm done with my apparently is too. <laughs> All right, thank you, Alex. That was a fun conversation.